Creating prints on canvas is a wonderful way to print out your images in a very unique manner. However, a lot of times when you're printing on canvas, you need to do something called gallery wrapping. That means you're going to wrap part of the canvas around the wooden bars to stretch it out. Then you'll end up with an image on the front of the canvas as well as a little bit of the image around the edges of the canvas to make sure that it doesn't just drop off to white. It's a great way to create a seamless and beautiful photograph and make it appear a little bit more painterly. Inside Perfect Resize, you can create a canvas gallery wrap and get it ready for print just using a couple of very quick steps. As you can see here on this photo, we have the center image in the middle of the screen, and then we have the edges, or the wings, on the top, bottom, left, and right that will be wrapped around those wooden bars for the final canvas. Let me go ahead and show you how easy it is to do this inside Perfect Resize. Once you have your image open, on the right hand side in the document size pane, you'll want to make sure that your photo is the correct size for your final print option. The width and height inside this pane is going to be the width and height of the image on the canvas. The wings on the top, bottom, left, and right will be determined later. So it's very important you pay attention to what you type in inside the document size area. Once this is all set, that's when you're going to go down to the bottom to the gallery wrap pane and turn it on. I'll go ahead and click that on off switch and it will automatically apply the gallery wrap. There are a couple different options that you have here. The first is going to be the size of the edges. Right now, it's set to three inches. You'll want to make sure that you know how many inches you're going to need to wrap around your canvas. If you're printing it out yourself, you want to make sure that you give yourself a little bit of extra leeway. If you're sending it out for someone else to print it, you'll want to make sure that you ask them how much space you need on each side. In the center of the screen, you're going to see that there are cyan guidelines all around the entire photo. These indicate the separation between the wings and the center of the image. Each area for this photo is set to three inches. That means that the top wing is three inches from top to bottom. The bottom wing is three inches top to bottom, which means that overall it's going to add six inches to your entire photo, both vertically and horizontally. If you need to change the thickness, you can go ahead and type in a new number. Let's say I don't need three inches, I only need two. I can select that and type in the number that I need. You can also adjust whether you're using inches. If you open this up, you can also choose pixels, percent, and centimeters. Up at the top is the type drop-down menu. This is what type of image is being placed on the wings that we see. Right now it's set to reflect soft, which means that it's reflecting my image while adding a soft blur so that none of the features in the photo are very crisp. Opening up this type drop-down menu, you have a couple of different options, including reflect, which will just reflect your image straight with no softness. You can see that it's mirroring each one of those different sides. I can also choose stretch, which will stretch your image while reflecting it at the same time. This is great if you're working on pictures of people and you want to make sure that the features of their body or their face are not very clear around the edges of your canvas. And then to soften out the stretch, you can also choose the option of stretch soft. Now along with the type and the thickness of the wings, you can also add a wrap overlay. That means if you'd like to add a little bit of a darker edge around the canvas to help pull the viewer's eye in towards the center, the overlay color is set to black right now. All you need to do is move the opacity over to the right. As I do so, it's going to add a darker edge so that the center of your image will pop out and the edges will fade into the wall behind you. You can also open up the overlay color dialog box by clicking inside the swatch and you can select a different color if you'd like to. I'll go ahead and click OK. The last option down at the bottom is Add to New Layer. This means that if you're saving your image as a PSD file like I am, it will take the edges and save it on a separate layer, meaning that you can edit them separately, you can print them out separately, and many other options. 
Depending on whether you're printing it yourself or whether you're printing it through a service, you'll want to make sure you ask whether they're going to want those edges on a separate layer. Once you're done, all you need to do is click apply and it's going to add those edges for you. You'll have your canvas wings and you're going to be ready to print your image out for your beautiful gallery wrap.